Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't make any more videos for a while, but hey, I felt in the mood to work on this, and this is what I'm doing. I'm listening to the radio while I'm doing it. Here's my first modification I've made to the, uh, this is to the power supply for the uh, AM transmitter, the Vectronics 1290. I'm going to show you, um, now, some time ago, uh, if you remember, I, I, I made a uh, earth ground to this. Alright, there is the earth ground. That is tied to the middle leg of the, uh, I think they call these EIC connectors. Um, so, and it goes to the case. I did uh, round out around there, not round out, but uh, go down to bare metal on this. There, there is a coating of some kind on this case. I don't know if it's paint, but it's, it's definitely coating. Anyway, I, do, I went down to the bare metal and I put that good strong... Um, screw in there and uh, the eyelet in there and it's, it's grounded to this case. Now on this side, what I've done, and I had planned on doing this all along but it just kind of got done. I've taken a strap from here, also did the same thing to this one, cleared, cleaned it down to the bare metal. And this is a, a basically a strap off of a capacitor that uh, I cut and uh, it goes directly to the uh, to the minus on the uh, output of the power supply and there's your there's your minus wire coming in over two and so basically this grounds this uh, the minus supply from the uh, uh, power supply to the uh, to the radio so when, or the transmitter when it goes into the transmitter it will be earth grounded at the negative part so I'm going to show you what the next one I'm doing is in just a minute. So I will bring you back. Alright, now, as we can see here, I think, from this point here, on the side of the audio input, this is the ground side, there's a wire running over to this peg, this uh, screw. Now this screw goes through to the chassis. And that basically, since all these grounds are tied together on the uh, schematic, uh, it's the same as ties to any other ground on, on the board. So this ties the uh, ground on the um, transmitter to the, the chassis. So now when we hook this up and the power comes in, which is negative uh, or earth grounded, the chassis on this will be earth grounded. So that's the plan. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out. But that's what I did to get this grounded. Everybody said grounded, so I'm grounding it. Uh, hope it works. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But like I said, I had nothing to lose, so. I just, like I said, I, I soldered that to that, uh, oh, you know, the uh, audio ground there. It's soldered well, and like I said, I can, I can do the, uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I don't know if I can do that, but, all right, that's tied there. So if we hit the, so you can see there is continuity between ground of the uh, circuit and the chassis so that should work and we'll give it a shot and see what happens so hang in there you can hear it's playing pretty good I don't hear the hum that I, I heard before so maybe this is a good thing uh, definitely earth grounded now the cases of the power supply and the case of the uh, transmitter itself is earth grounded and so are the negatives in both units so can't say it's not grounded now this uh, I don't know 
that music's not real good for trying to figure out if it's good or not. It's on 1171 is what the uh, frequency is, according to the frequency count. So I'd say that's pretty close. It's got more volume now, too. It's got uh, quite a bit more volume. So, let's see what this next song is. It's not too bad. I tried it on my uh, big stereo, but I don't have the uh, AM antenna on it. I thought it was on there, but it's not. So probably with an antenna on it, it would sound okay on there, because I, I touched the antenna terminals and it came in pretty clear there. Kind of like to try it on the uh, console stereo, but it's not plugged in, I don't think. So, anywho, besides that, there's a ton of stuff on top of it. Lexi thinks that's her her personal uh, shelf, I guess is what I should say. So, <laughs> uh, anyway. So, let me know what you think. you think it's better? I probably need to get the, uh, the little uh, GE portable in here. And that was the one that really hummed. So let me do that and we'll try it one more time. So, hang in there. Now there is a hum there, but I believe that's the radio. If it doesn't sound clear, I think my uh, modulation is up too high. I think I've got my phone turned up. I need to turn it down try it again. Let me do that. Alright, that is a little bit better, I believe. I've got it turned down eh, quite a bit. I used the other radio in the other room to uh, judge where it sounded best at. Get a little more hum out of it, but I still think it's mostly the radio. Plus, I don't have the top cover on it, maybe part of it. Alright, it's just getting off the station to see if the hum is present. Doesn't seem to be. So maybe it didn't radio. I thought it was the radio. acceptable. I made it sometime try that other mod with the uh, 220 peak of third. I think it's 220 or 120, whatever it was. Cross R4. I may try that and see what that does, but this is not too bad. So we'll try this for a while and see how we like this. Y'all let me know what you think, I mean, as far as the hum. I mean, it's it's present, but I'm, I won't say at the limit, but I'm, far, I'm pretty far distance away from the antenna, and I haven't tried a longer antenna like some suggested yet. I could do that too. But as long as the radio is, is uh, tuned in right, I think it sounds pretty darn good. This radio drifts a lot. 
needs the caps replaced on it. Something I've been remiss in in all my projects. But one of these days I'll get it done. So, again, let me know what you think. In other words, I uh, think that's going to be the end of this. It's, uh, as you can see, maybe, I don't know, I'll put this on close so you won't see really good. It's fairly nice, some clouds, some puffy clouds. It's nice and cool though today, 70s, um, low humidity. And uh, I think Bill said his was coming on Sunday. So this is probably it, Bill. It probably headed your way. It's nice out there. So you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We will see ya.